Our top story tonight, big changes are happening on Interstate 380 as the I-80 interchange construction pushes along. You know, drivers will be impacted as the Iowa Department of Transportation will shut down a portion of northbound Interstate 380 tomorrow night. KWWL reporter Ashley Neighbor talking with the DOT for us today about this massive $300 million project. She's live right now from Cedar Rapids with more on the updates for us. Well, that's right, Abby and Ron. Drivers heading northbound tomorrow night from Iowa City to Cedar Rapids should expect to be detoured. Now, that's because all of the northbound lanes will be shut down beginning at 7 p.m. and reopening at 6 a.m. Of course, this is just one piece of a much larger project happening in that corridor. Interstate 380 is moving quickly, and I'm not just talking about the traffic. Lots of activity, lots to be aware of for drivers in the area. From a total interchange redo. Where every movement will actually have its own bridge going over or under, depending on the direction you're going. To a new exit ramp and a proposal to add more lanes from Iowa City to North Liberty. 380 is quickly evolving. Really, it's going to help with safety in the area, keep people moving more at the same speed, and you'll be able to blend into 80 or 380 traffic at a higher speed speed. As the DOT converts the interchange from a cloverleaf to a turbine design, Evergreen Road helps with detours. Traffic that wants to go north on 380 will be sent over to the Coral Ridge exit. Um, they'll take that exit, go north on Coral Ridge Avenue. Um, they can use the new Forever Green and get right back on 380. It's also creating new access and opportunity for growth, which Veritas Church was quick to realize. They'd been looking for land for about five years and then our head pastor Mark Arendt with some of our members recognize, hey, Tiffin's an up-and-coming place and it's kind of a central location. Planting their roots along this new stretch of road and taking a bet on the ease of access of the new exit. It's been huge just logistically for, for getting Iowa City, Coralville, um, even Cedar Rapids or Solon. It kind of creates a central location um, where people can jump right off the, right off the interstate. Now again, that closure should only be for Tuesday night. Now lanes will continue to shift as the project continues on and those workers will continue working through winter. So the Iowa DOT is asking everyone to be very vigilant. And if you'd like updates from them about those closures and reroutes, I'll have a place where you can do that under this story on our website. I'm live in the Cedar Rapids newsroom, Ashley Neighbor, News 7 KWWL. Ashley, thank you. Yeah, it's a have patience. It's a three year project. And I mentioned earlier, it's a 300 million dollar safety project as well.